Hiya art nerds! Today we're taking a look at the Crayola Signature Tri-Color Pencils. I've been seeing a lot of artists online make some gorgeous art using multicolor color pencils and Crayola recently released these Tri-Color Pencils so this was perfect timing because you can get 12 of these Crayola Tri-Color Pencils for about the same price as you could get 5 of other brands Tri-Color Pencils. So we're going to take a look at these today and we're also going to compare them to a couple of the Koenor Hard Mousse Tritone pencils I have as well. Inside the Crayola Signature Metal Tin, we have 12 colors. We have Pink Posies, Lava Lake, Sunny Day, Spring Seed, Ivy Vines, Tidal Wave, Blue Jay, Pebble Blue, Dusk, Iris Petals, Galaxy, and Grizzly Bear. And the back says, Crayola Signature Tri-Color Pencils offer three shades of color in each pencil. Simply turn the pencil slightly in your hand to create two change the shade. Create subtle color gradations and layering effects with just a twist of your wrist. And I really like the Crayola, Crayola Blending Shade or Blending Color Pencils as part of their signature line. So I'm really hoping these are similar to those and we're going to be able to get some really nice rich colors. My problem with the Kohenor Hard Move Tritones is they're kind of hard and um, it's just a little bit difficult to use, a little painful to use. So lo let's go ahead and unbox these Crayola Signature Tricolor Pencils. And I have to say, I really love the art on the Crayola Signature bar boxes so much that I actually wrote in the Crayola at one point to ask if they could, you know, mention who the artists are. And unfortunately, that is not part of their policy. I really hope they'll reconsider, though, because the artists that they're hiring to do the art for their boxes do a phenomenal job. And also, I might be interested in becoming one of these box artists, so I would love to have information on how I could join the Crayola team and help participate in this. This particular Crayola Signature box is hinged on the side. It opens flat, which I really like. And there is a clear plastic protector to protect your color pencils. These do not feature the matte body that some of the other Crayola color pencils have, but they do have silver branding on the side that says Crayola, as well as the color names in three different languages, and also color swatches of the colors within. There are quite a few multicolor color pencils on the market, but the two that I am most likely to trust would be the Koenor Hard, uh, Hardmuth Tritone and then the Crayola ones that have recently come out. So I have here a piece of Canton Montval watercolor scrap. It has a bit of a texture, but not overly textured. I like using textured papers with my colored pencil. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little one-to-one -one comparison. I only have a couple of the uh, Koenor colors that came in different art snacks. So we're gonna try and find as apt a comparison as possible. So for Flame here, we're gonna test Sunny Day. And then for Tropical, which is actually a really nice split of colors, there's nothing why like it in this set? So I guess I will grab a couple of different ones. We'll do Spring Seed and then we'll also do Blue Jay. So I'm going to start with the Koenor and it has a beveled gold tipped back and you can see the multicolors same as the Crayola little bit of a checkered board pattern kind of going on. So this is Flame. It is yellow, orange, and then a darker orange, and it kind of 
mostly just blends into an orange. This is the Crayola Sunny Day. About as hard as the Kohinoor. Uh, I'm getting a little more yellow than I was able to get in the Kohinoor. It might be a little bit more buttery. Next, we're going to try Tropical. I'll zoom in for you guys. And this is the Kohinoor again. This one is yellow, dark blue, and light blue, and it makes a really nice kind of blue-green shade. This one's a fun one because you do get a lot of color variation because you have kind of some disparate colors going on. So we're going to do Spring Seed, which is also actually really nice. You do get a lot of yellow in there. So it's dark green, light green, and yellow. So that's actually pretty fun. And then we're gonna try Blue Jay, which is a medium blue, a light blue, and then a darker blue. This one isn't quite as interesting because there's just not as much difference in the colors. So some of the more fun ones feature kind of like um, split triads rather than, you know, monochromatic. All in all though, so far, um, I think the Kohinoor ones have some really interesting color variations. Unfortunately, I think you can only get like five of these total, but I will double check. Now, we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of the Crayola ones. We're gonna start with Pink Posies. And that's light pink magenta and red. So not a lot of color variation in this one. I wonder if some of those artists who are getting a lot of color variation are using the ones that actually have a rainbow in every pencil. I've been looking into those too, but I'm only finding them on Amazon for 12 packs rather than individual or even just three. Next is Lava Lake. Kind of reminds me of those multi-color crayons we had when we were kids. And these are really nice on rougher papers like this because yes, you do get a lot of white, but you can always burnish that out or you can go over it again. But I think you get a little bit more of the color variation and you can also kind of softly build up your colors. Now we're back to sunny day. I'm getting some more of the yellow on this one and they say just to turn it to get a different color. But I find that the patches in these is so, are so small that you don't really, <laughs> turning it isn't gonna do a lot of good. Then Spring Seed. I'm getting a nice amount of yellow in that. Next, Ivy Vines. And I do a lot of sketching with color pencil anyway. I usually use um, Prismacolor color pencils, typically in terracotta. That's kind of always my go-to for sketching and character concepts. So I thought it would be really fun, since I already like sketching with color pencils, to give these a shot. And I've been so impressed with the Crayola Signature line in general that, and in fact, you guys can see I reviewed a lot of those here on the channel. So this one is Tidal Wave, and it's olive green, blue, and then very light blue. And with this one, you definitely get some color variation. So that's one suggestion I have for Crayola. If they, if these sell well, if people like these, it would be great if you also released like a crazy color set where you have um, just like uh, complementary colors rather than ana analogous or monochromatic colors. And that way, you know, someone who has this set already can do some really fun stuff. So here's Blue Jay, which we took a look at a moment ago. Because, I mean, these are kind of neat in that they're so close together, you can definitely do something, like make an illustration with them for sure, and you don't have to worry about like a random green popping up. But we're not getting some of the really interesting color mixes that I got with Say Tropical. So next is Pebble Blue. It is a teal, um, kind of a stormy blue, and then a gray. I have a feeling this one's gonna end up being one of my favorites. Except it just seems like I hit a patch of gray. Oh yeah, there's a lot of gray at the beginning. Because it starts to kind of get a better mix as we go.
I wonder also if the ones that have larger cores, so we're doing Dusk, because there are multicolor color pencils that have larger cores. In fact, Koenor makes some with the larger cores. I wonder if those also give you kind of a better color spread because the color chips they can put in. Oh, this one's really nice actually because you do get that mix of color. Um, the color spread is larger. I'm gonna see if I have one of those and dig it up for you guys in another video. So that was Dusk and it's kind of a grapey purple, a lilac, and then a red violet. Next is Iris Petals, and that's kind of similar to Dusk, where it's kind of like a medium purple, a blue purple, and then kind of a red violet. So pretty, but not necessarily like a lot of color variation going on. Then we have Galaxy, which is interesting because it's blue, lilac, and then a brown, which gives us kind of a neat neutral color, like a neutral tint kind of color. It's pretty. And then finally we have Grizzly Bear. Which is like a tan, kind of a mahogany brown, and then a dark brown. So you do get some color variation in that one. I paid $13.17 for these 12 pencils and I ordered them off of Amazon. The closest competitor would would be the Koenor pencils. You can get uh, 24 of those for $28 or you can get 12 of them for $17. So these are nice and fairly smooth on textured papers like this watercolor paper here. I look forward to exploring these more in depth and sharing more of my art made with these with you guys here on this channel. So if you enjoyed this Unbox and Swatch video, make sure you hit subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and stick around. I have loads of great videos here on this channel where I review all sorts of art supplies. If you're looking for more Crayola, I've got you covered. I've reviewed a bunch of the Crayola Signature products and honestly I really like them. So just search for Crayola Signature on my homepage search bar and you should be able to find what you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye guys!